On the M32, X32, XR18, 16, 12, all these mixers, you can copy the sends of a certain channel to all the buses, but you cannot copy the sends of all the channels to one bus. In other words, you cannot copy a mix. If I have a monitor mix for the guitar player on bus number three, and for some reason I need to move it to bus number six, for example, I cannot just hit one button and boom, all the sends are correct. I have to resend the channels to that new bus and make sure the tap points are correct. It's pretty slow and labor intensive. On the Behringer Wing, you can do that. When you hit copy, among the options, there's something called bus feeds, and that basically means the mix, whatever channel is going to that bus, will go at the same level to that new Bus. So when I knew about this, I was like, mm, I wish I could do that on my M32 console or the MR18, but I can't, unfortunately, until now. You can do that on the Mixing Station app. This is Mixing Station. You're going to go to the top right corner on the three dots, and right here you'll find a button called Mix Copy. Click on it, and you're going to choose the source, which mix you want to copy, and to which bus you want to copy it. So if I have my monitor mix on bus number three, and I want to copy it to bus number six, I can do that. Hit Copy. That's it. I can also do the left-right. So my main mix, I can copy it to a certain bus, let's say bus number 12, and that will be the live stream, and then I can make a few changes. You can also copy matrices. Let's go right here to the main left-right. And I'm going to send it to matrix 1, 2, 3, 4. And change the tap points right here to pre-fader. And right here to post-fader. So now if I do mix copy from matrix number 1 to matrix number 3 and hit copy, you can see now 1 and 3 are at the same level and have the same tap point. Now for a practical example, I'm going to show you something I did a few days ago in my church. We have the Midas MR18. And we are sending 6 monitors from the aux outputs on the mixer, the XLR outputs. Right here, bus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from aux 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and effect send number 2 from output 6. Because I'm using the bus number 6 for the live stream mix. So I used an effects bus as a monitor. Now I wanted to use another effects bus as an extra monitor. Right now, the live stream is going out of the headphones output, bus number six, that's live stream, and this is an unbalanced signal. I can't send it over a long distance. And since I can't choose an effects bus to be the monitor source to come out of the headphones output, I put bus five, six. So right now, if I pan bus number six to the right, it will come out of one side of the headphones output, and bus number five to the left, it will come out of the other side of the headphones output. So I can get two signals from the headphones output. And then I could use that extra, extra our output for an effects bus. But remember, the headphones output is unbalanced, so I cannot send it a long distance. So what I needed to do is move the base monitor to the effects bus. So I want the mix of all the channels that are going to the base monitor to be on the extra effects bus. So that's the end result that I wanted. Extra monitor, I can send to it whatever I want over a short distance from the headphones output. And the base monitor, I assigned it to aux 5 from effects bus number 3. I can send it long distance over XLR. I have the effects send bus number 3. Currently, I'm not sending anything to it. And it's all going post fader. And I want to move the monitor bus of the base to that other bus. I want to copy all the sends with all the tap points. You can see here we have different taps for all the instruments instruments and different tabs for all the microphones. So I'm going to go to mixing station. There's nothing going to that bus right now. I'm going to go to the top right three dots, mix copy and copy from the base monitor to that extra bus, which is effect send number three. Hit copy. That's it. Now I have the same exact sense between that bus and the base monitor. That's the base bus, that's the extra bus. It's the exact same sense levels for all the channels and the exact same tap points. I'm going to show you on the edit tab so you can see easier. Here's the base bus. These are the tap points. If I go to the extra bus, the exact same tap points. It's literally that easy. If you're still not using Mixing Station, I don't know why you want to make your life more difficult than it needs to be. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and click on the video on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next one.